Hi guys, Jeannie here and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a video that you guys have requested a lot um, on my Instagram and in my comments all the time and you guys have requested a chit chat get ready with me on how I do my makeup. So today I'm actually going to be focusing, um, showing you guys a lot of the drugstore finds that I have really been loving. Um, I'm only going to be using a few um, higher end items that are just, I have to use them. Um, but the majority of these products I'm using are all drugstore. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. So I'm freshly out of the shower. This is the moisturizer that I always use. This is the simple um, protecting light moisturizer with SPF 15. I love this stuff. I will always use this stuff. It's a great price. Um, and as far as I know, next week there's going to be a um, ECB offer at CVS. I think it's spend 30 and you get $10 back and then we still have those BOGO coupons. So even though this is a beauty video, I'm always talking about coupons. So um, next I just go in with the Eucerin um, Aquaphor for my lips and I actually dab a little bit of this underneath my eyes too just to moisturize them because I found that a lot of eye creams that claim they're gonna do all these crazy things they really don't the only really thing that eye creams do is they nourish and hydrate the under eye so um, most of the drugstore um, eye creams they're not gonna do firming and lifting and all of that stuff that that comes from when you're paying you know hundred dollars a bottle for eye cream but over the like drugstore eye creams, it's really just hydrating. So all you really need to do is have a good moisturizer. So love, love this Aquaphor stuff. So first I'm going to, oh, and my detangleizer that I use, cause like I said, I'm fresh out of the shower. Um, I've been loving the Pacifica um, Hair Vana Leave-In Moisturizer Detangler Conditioner. I love this stuff. Rachel running kimono, she sent me a um, travel set um, and this included it and I am out of it. So I'm going to need to get some more. So Rachel, thank you for introducing me to a new ride or die hair tang detangleizer and it works great on, um, Scarlett's hair as well. So what I like to do, um, with my detangleizer is I will add this on while I'm still in the shower and work it in when my hair is wet and in the shower. So now I'm just going to throw the mop up and I'm gonna go in with my foundation and the drugstore foundation that I've been using um, pretty much religiously for the past I want to say three weeks is the fit me dewy look concealer and I'm in the shade 120 classic ivory and then I pair it I mix it with the new Maybelline master strobing liquid um, illuminator highlighter so what I do is I have this little dish that I actually found from the dollar spot at Target and I will add my foundation onto my dish like that and then I will just add a little bit of this just like that like that and then I will swirl it together and it just gives the skin a very nice illuminated look it gives you a really nice glow on the skin. So now I'm just going to dot my face with my foundation. Maybe I should bring you guys in closer. Okay. I think that's good. So, and then I'm going to take a damp beauty sponge. This is the Real Techniques. And then I just dot it all in, cover up all areas on my face that I need to conceal and I really love the fit me dewy concealer because I don't like mattifying foundations because I like my skin to have a hydrated dewy look all the time I don't like having a mattified look on my face so this is they Maybelline makes the um, matte Fit Me, so if you prefer a more matte um, foundation, the Fit Me line has a matte kind as well. So I'm actually headed to Target um, later on tonight. I really haven't been going to Target as much because I've been more focused with Harris Teeter and 
CVS, so I really have not been able to get myself out to Target the past, well, I went last week, but I went with friends, so I wasn't really doing my um, extreme couponing haul over there. So tonight I'm gonna go over there, check out the clothes, check out um, all the cartwheel deals, and I will be having a Target video uploaded um, in the next day or two. So, um, okay, so now that I have everything blended in, it just, now that I have everything blended in, I think just adding this master strobing liquid to the skin just gives this, gives my skin more of a luminous look. And I'll go ahead and show you guys what the Maybelline Illuminizer looks like on its own. So it is a really nice um, illuminating highlighter. So um, if you wanted to use this just as a highlight, you could add it onto your cheekbones here at the top of your cheekbones, down the bridge of your nose. Um, just depends on what type of look you're going for. But um, when I'm using these liquid highlighters, I will not add um, powder to my face. So if I chose to use the strobing liquid, I would not set my face with powder because I don't like putting powder on and then adding another cream on top of the powder. I don't like doing that. Um, I feel like it gives the face a real cakey look and I, I don't like it. Um, so for today, I'm not gonna do that. Um, and I'm gonna be trying, for my concealer, I'm trying the new Wet n Wild, I picked this up last night, the Wet n Wild Focus Concealer. And my shade is in Light Ivory. They have a really nice um, shade range and they've changed their packaging. So Wet n Wild is a cruelty-free brand. So I like that. Um, so this is the applicator right here. It's a doe foot applicator similar to the Naked Skin and um, the sharp, the sharp, <laughs> the tart shape tape. So this is what the concealer looks like. So I have learned all of my concealer tricks from the Jaclyn Hill. So all of my tricks that I've actually, most of my makeup tricks I've learned are from Jaclyn Hill. She's a fantastic makeup artist. She's a fantastic teacher. Um, so this is my how I highlight my face with my concealer. I do um, a strip down my nose, I do a triangle formation under my eyes, and then I do a little um, crissy crossy on the top of my forehead. And then I just used, make sure you use a damp sponge because this is going to give um, the best look with your concealer. And then I just blend everything in like so. And then I also add the concealer onto my eyes because that's what's going to be my primer. Um, I don't use regular eye primers, I just use concealer because they work just as well. So, um, let me see impression wise of this concealer. So far the shade is right on for me. Um, it doesn't give as much of a highlighting effect as I normally would prefer, but um, it's it's decent. For $4.19, this is a pretty um, decent concealer. There are also um, other drugstore concealers on the line. Maybelline's Fit Me concealers are great also. Um, so now I'm gonna go in and set everything. Um, this is a non-drugstore item, so I'm using the Laura Mercier, uh, what is this? The Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. So I just go in with a um, large powder brush and set everything just like that. And then to avoid um, creasing of my concealer, I always add on a layer of white translucent. So this is what they call baking and I just use the um, Mary Kay baking powder. So let's see. Any baking powder would work. Um, I know NYX makes a really good one. I used to use the NYX one and then I got the Mary Kay one. Um, Laura Mercier is on the higher end. Um, if you don't want to spend that much, you don't have to. So with baking, you pretty much just um, set the translucent powder on your skin and then you leave it on. So um, next, 
thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a new eyeshadow palette that I picked up recently. This is the Rimmel Magnify Eyes Eyeshadow. So this is the, this is actually a comparable palette to the um, Naked 3. So they also have looks that you can do on the back. So I'm going to zoom you guys in more personally. Sawyer's playing with goldfish. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in, I think I'm going to go in with this light. Can you see this? This shade right here. It's a champagne, beigey champagne color right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Um, not sure how the pigment's going to be on these guys. So this is the shade I'm going into right here. It's just a nice champagne beige type color. So I am going to be using, here I am, I'm going to use a MAC um, 227 brush. It's just a large um, packing brush. And I'm going to use this shade from the lid all the way to the brow bone. So I'm just going to get cover it all. Just pack it on. Like that. I think I might be too far in. Woo. Okay, I think this is better. Okay. So I'm going to add some more. Just so it's there's a nice even base is what I'm trying to do. Um, and then I'm going to go in with a MAC 224. This is a blending brush. And I'm going to go in with the only matte shade in this palette. And it's this shade right here. It actually looks similar <laughs> to the shimmer shade. It's just it's not it's not shimmery. <laughs> well, actually, yeah, there's a little bit more of a beige um, look to it. So um, with transition colors, guys, you the transition color is the color that you're putting in the crease. So you want to stick to a shade that is not a, a shimmery shade. You always want a matte shade going into your um, crease as your transition shade. So that's what we're doing. And then you can just drag it down and blend it. Um, add some more. Drag and blend. I've recently been following a new mom vlogger. Um, I do not remember her name. What is her? I forgot her name. Um, but she had the cutest romper on yesterday and she said that it was from Target. So I have my eye on that romper. And you guys are probably wondering if I'm still doing my declutter series, and I have. I'm just trying to maintain the spots that I've already decluttered. Um, and once I, I'm in that phase right now where I've been able to maintain everything. So now that I've been able to maintain everything, I have gone through the process of picking up organizational stuff um, to organize the areas better. So I will go ahead and do a video and show you guys um, updated how I'm organizing my pantry and cupboards and stuff like that. So um, that video is going to be coming really soon because I've bought most of the stuff for the kitchen and um, I've already started organizing it. So um, I'm still decluttering. I'm still trying to be more of a minimalist. It's just I'm taking longer to do it, if that makes sense. So now I think I'm going to go in with this light shimmery pink rosy shade. Um, has a little bit of a gold tint to it. Oh, that's nice. It's like a rose gold pinky shade right here. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and add all of that to the lid. And this is the brush I'm going to be using. It's just a flat brush. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with that rosy gold um, shimmer shade and just add it to the lid. I'm not doing a very dramatic eye look today. Um, just want to add just a little just a little shadow. So I'm just going to pack this onto my lid. Um, you always want to focus shimmery shades on your lid. Like I mentioned before, you don't want to add it into your crease. So it's just a really pretty um, rosy gold shimmer shade. Actually, it's a really beautiful color, actually. Um, it blends really well, too. So this is a really nice 
rosy shade. So I'm just, I just added a little bit of that and then I'm gonna go back in with that transition color that we were working with earlier and just blend everything in more. Okay. Okay, so that's pretty much my eye look. Um, I'm not really doing any um, eyeliner. I, I don't wear eyeliner a whole lot, so um, we're gonna skip on that. And now it's time to wipe, wipe away the baking. So all you need to do is just, you know, wipe it away. And this is translucent powder. So you can go ahead and just add it all back in. So um, next product I'm going in with is the Physician's Formula Bronze Booster. Now I picked this guy up at CVS because they're on a spend 15, get $10 back. So I wanted to try their new bronzer line um and it looks like this is a setting powder too so that's cool um okay oh wow and there's a brush too there's a contour brush oh wow cool there's like a little mirror and it keeps the bronzer brush and then it comes with two sh three shades so this is a highlight and contour palette so there is a highlighter, illuminator, bronzer, and a sculptor. So, um, package is a little, little, okay. Okay, so first shade is the highlighter shade. So that is the highlighter shade. I don't really see this as being a highlighter, but definitely could see this as a under eye setter. And then the second shade is the bronzer. So this is the bronzer shade right here. And then we have the sculptor. Wow, that's kind of dark. Um, not sure if I'll be using that one. Um, definitely won't be using that one. Um, okay, so where did the brush go? Did I put the brush back in its spot? No, I lost the brush already. Oh, here it is. <laughs> um, so the palette comes with a little angle brush right here. So I will go ahead and test it out and use it. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in the hollows of the cheek. Oh wow, this guy shows up really well. Wow. <laughs> um, definitely use this with the light hand, guys. Um, okay, let's just even it out. I love that this is shaped like the NARS Eda brush. Um, if you guys have been following Jaclyn Hill a while, you'll know what the Eda brush is. Um, I still never bought that brush. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't spend $50 on a brush. Um, so yeah, okay. So now, obviously, we're going to need to blend this guy in. So I'm going to go in with a Real Tex Techniques buffing brush and buff all of that in. Just like that. And you really want to get rid of that line that it creates. Okay. You just want to make sure that that line that you created in your sculpt right here, you just want to make sure that it's not a harsh line. So I'm actually going to add a little bit more onto my buffing brush just to um, blend it out a little better. So, yay. And then I always go in with a little bit more bronzer. So I take my um, Mary Kay bronzing powder um, just to add a little bit more um, bronze to my face. So I'll, I'll focus it a little bit more like on the cheekbone like that. And then more down my nose and my chin. And there we go. So next, I'm going to go in with a new Wet n Wild uh, Color Con blush right here. This is in the shade Apricot in the Middle. So it's an apricot peachy type blush. I've heard some really great things about this, so I'm excited to give it a try. So this is what the color looks like. It has a really powdery consistency. Um, oh wow, that's really nice. It's a really pretty peachy apricot shade. Yes, I'm loving this. Okay, so hopefully it does well on the cheeks. So we're gonna add this on. 
I always make a little like smile and then I focus it on the apples right here. Okay. Gorgeous. Love it. Love it. Um, yep. Really like this blush a lot. Yep. Mm-hmm. Great blush for under $5, that's for sure. Um, I'm someone who really enjoys blush, so I tend to add more than probably <laughs> the normal person. Um, so let's take a look at everything right now because I am just trying these products now with you guys. So um, overall, I think that everything is looking pretty good. I approve. Um, so my next step and my favorite step of my makeup routine is my highlight routine. And I have been loving the peach glow, sweet peach glow palette. So this is a bronzer, blush topper, highlighter. Love this. Um, the reviews on Sephora, either you're going to love it or you're going to hate it. But I have a very fair complexion. So these work really well for me. So it gives me a really nice glow so you can see that just right here um i recently branched out and used a um, different palette about two days ago but i have been living by this palette for like too much straight i love it so much as well as the uh two faced papa do peach blush i've been loving those pairs I, it's it's my go-to it's something i wear pretty much on a daily basis but um, we've had so many great drugstore deals that I feel like I just needed to branch myself out and try some new stuff because I was following a creature of habit and using the same stuff. So um, now I'm just taming my brows, just giving them a comb through. I really don't fill them in. Um, it's just never something I've really gotten myself into. And then I'm going to go with my... Um, ride or die mascara this is the mary Kay ultimate mascara and my shade is in black brown so i'm just going to apply a small coat of mascara only takes one coat for these lashes to lengthen like this is a miracle miracle mascara highly recommend uh, but I might need to branch out and try some other mascara because I've been using this mascara every day since like December. So um, it might be on its last leg pretty soon. So now I have my lashes done. I don't use fake eyelashes. I've never been a fan of fake eyelashes. It just has never been something I've gotten myself into. So, uh, okay, now we're almost done. Now for the fun part is the new lippies that I got. So, oh no, mascara's in my eye. It's burning, it's watering, no. Okay, okay. That's the worst. Oh, oh my God, <laughs> that's the worst. Be careful with that, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the new Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipstick. So these guys are new and I'm going in with the pink, what is this called? Pink Really Hard. Um, so this is a, has a doe foot applicator right here. So let's test this color out. This is a cool toned Barbie pink shade. So. Oh wow, this is really pink. I don't know about this, guys. So, definitely good for spring, for sure. I'm not really sure if this is my color of choice. Um, I tend to go for more, like, peachy shades. Um, I might have to pass this on to someone else because I'm not fully digging the shade. But um, let me free up some hand space to show you guys the swatch of this. This would definitely be my go-to like nail polish color, but this is the shade right here. And then I picked up one other one. Oh shoot, I think these dry pretty quick and then they stay. So I guess I'm gonna be wearing Barbie pink lips today. 
And then the next one I got is called Nice to Fuchsia. So I'll go ahead and swatch this guy for you too. This shade I'm envisioning wearing with a really subtle eye look with like a black winged eyeliner. That's the look I'm getting at from this. So this is the shade right here, Nice to Fuchsia. Ooh, I love that. This is gonna be, I think this is gonna be the shade I keep because this is a really pretty shade. Um, hmm. Might need to add a lip gloss onto these guys. Or not lip gloss, chapstick, so it doesn't dry my lips out, so. Okay. So, that is my look. Um, I try to keep my makeup as natural as possible on a daily basis. Oh shoot, gotta get my deodorant. Can't forget the deodorant, guys. Don't want to be stinking up Target, right? Okay, so this is my final look. This is just an everyday, natural, on-the-go type makeup look. So, um, out of everything that I have tested out with you guys, I definitely highly, highly suggest the um, Fit Me Dewy Concealer, com not concealer, the Fit Me um, Dewy Smooth foundation paired with a little bit of the strobing liquid. These two are so beautiful together. Um, in terms of the concealer, I definitely would say that I prefer the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer over this guy, but it's a decent concealer for the price. Um, probably the least thing I tried, the, my least favorite thing was the Physician's Formula Bronze um, Booster set. Um, just because it like it's great but compared to my sweet peach glow kit like this is my favorite so far so um it's kind of unfair to pair something next to a favorite of mine so um that's my look and i also picked this up too from the wet and wild line this is the uh what is this the mega glow makeup stick so this is meant to be a blush yeah, this is like a cream blush, and I got the shade Peach Bums, so I love using cream. Um, ooh, this is nice. I love using cream blushes in the summertime because I tend to not wear um, as much foundation in the summertime because it's just going to sweat off, so oh, this is really pretty. Um, so yeah, I would highly suggest that you don't um, put any powder product on your face if you're going to use this. Um, and I would highly suggest applying this with a damp um, sponge. So just add a little bit to the back of your hand, pick it up with your blender sponge and just kind of like dab it like that. And then it would look really great actually to top it off with the um, sherbing liquid um, on top. So that would be a really beautiful look. I think I might try. So that is everything I have to show you guys for my get ready. Let me know if you guys enjoy these little chit chat makeup show you the new collections at the drugstore slash what I'm loving slash talk a little makeup because aside from couponing, makeup is one of my other loves. Um, I've been posting a lot on my Instagram about the um, Tarte Pro Palette, the Tardis Pro Palette. So let me guys know if you guys want me to do a get ready with me with this as well because I would happy to do that because it's actually one of my favorite products right now. So um, that is everything I have to show you with this chit chat get ready with me and let me know what products you are enjoying at the drugstore and I will be back with a Target video in the next few days. So don't forget to like this video so I know you have enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye!